Hello folks, been a while since my last video, <clears throat> I'm going to be painting up this uh, Anvil Industries on me today. Got my wet palettes up and a dry palette as well. Dry palette? Palette? Me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run through uh, the paint job as I go, with the different colours, uh, and we'll go from there. Today we're fueled by Relentless Zero Raspberry, which is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah. Um, so this is a civilian figure, civilian zombie, We've also got a couple more, I've been working my way through them, painted this one yesterday, so I thought I'd do a quick how, how to paint a zombie, and there's a few more, a few videos have been out the same, but you know, that's how we go, you shall see, uh, it's primed in a mixture of two different colours, <laughs> I was priming them all in sand and I ran out of sand so I went over them all in black. Um, so this is a civilian. I'm thinking some some different colours. So I might do some blue trousers maybe uh, or a blue top and some green trousers. They're like cut off combat so green would probably be quite good for that. I'll probably use combat fatigues by Army Painter. Maybe the first colour we start with. Give it a good shake. I have found lately. Don't need a faster amount. A drop of water. You've been you. I've been using lately this red grass painting handle, which rotates, which is very nice. I've watered this right down, obviously, so I'm going to need a couple of coats. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll do the other coats and we'll come back once I've done the, the green and we're on to the next colour. So that's the green dry. I used about three coats there. Little camo pants, obviously, they'll darken up with a wash. I'll do a bit of a dry brush as well. Next color I'm going to be using oops, this is Green Stuff World Slate Gray. I'm going to paint the jacket and the sleeves. I'll go over the uh skin colour, it's not too much of, a, of an issue, Give it a bit of water.
Right, I'll leave that to dry and get a second coat on there and we'll be back. That's all the grey done. Now it's time for the flesh. Blaine uses vampiric flesh from AK. I'm going to add a tiny amount of tan flesh from Procryl as well. These two. Smidge of water as well. That looks a decent colour. Switch brushes. Any points where I've gone over the grey or the green, I can always bring back. The grey and the green are still both on there. <clears throat> Just that right up there. Flesh colour all over the grey. Shoes are going to be black. It doesn't matter too much if I get a bit of pink or flesh colour, shall I say, over over them. <clears throat> Apologise for my voice. I've still got a cold. I've had a cold on and off for four weeks now. I've done flow tests. It's not the Rona. <clears throat> outside <laughs> I 
Right, I'll do another coat and tidy up off, off camera and then we'll come back once uh, it's ready for washes. Right, so I've done all the tidying up. There we are so far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some uh, shades, some washes, built tan green for the trousers, right and flesh shade for the flesh, and then I've got none oil here for the uh, top, like the grey. So I've got quite a small brush because I don't want it to go everywhere. each colour to stay on each piece that I'm using it on rather than running to the next Right, I'll leave that to dry, then I'll do the grey, I'll leave that to dry, then I'll do the flesh, and I'll come back once that's all done. And we're nearly at the end then. And here we are. So all that's left is dry brushing. Off camera as well, just did his brain. Give it a quick wash. I used a mixture of this deep purple from AK. And the Procro Tan Flesh, just make a nice brains colour. Use the right from Flesh Shade wash on him as well, on the brain. So next is dry brushing, so I'm going to use a light green for the trousers, a light grey for the top, and like a, a, this bleached bone for the flesh. So I'll do all that, and then when we come back, we'll be nearly finished, just the base to do after that. I thought I'd show you me dry brushing as well. I'm using a small dry brush by Army Painter. Um, for the trousers, I'm going to use the same green that we started off with. That's the pink. I'm using the same green that I started off with on the trousers. Sorry about all the noise in the background. Neighbours' kids are out in their garden. It's hot as anything, so you can't blame them. That's where I'm going after this. Not in the neighbour's garden, in my garden. There's a green. What I'm going to do for the grey, it's the original slate grey. Don't need a vast amount of this, so I'm only using tiny drops. I'm mixing a tiny drop of white. these are more cartoony in, in uh, stature like the scale and the 28 the more heroic scale than uh than fact than actual 28 mil it doesn't matter if i'm slightly more cartoony in the colors i find that adds to the look this is quite a heavy dry brush on the gray but it's turning out nice There's the grey. Oops, a daisy. Use the 
bleached bone on the flesh. That's how we're looking. Looks decent. I'm just going to go with uh, that slate grey, tiny drop of that slate grey on its own for the boots, just because there's a lot of detail in the boots and it's lost a bit in the black. Washing clean my brush. almost like converse I've got a black pair of converse high tops that are pretty much all black they look a bit like converse high tops to me see if I brought out more of that detail on the boots and mini as a whole it's looking really good I'm going to paint the base paint the base film and do some shots at the end and there we go it's all done I used a mixture of uh, slate grey and necromancer cloak for the base. A little bit of nano, tiny little dry brush. So, so it's done. Painted the rim black, matte black like I always do. Yeah, he turned out pretty nice. Nice, quick, and easy paint job. Just handy because I've got 30 of these to paint. I've painted three so far. <laughs> I've not been batch painting like I normally do. I need to start batch painting these. Um, the brain really show, shows there as well. Um, yeah, lovely little piece. Um, these are great minis. Um, these 3D printed ones and the physical resin ones. I've got a mixture of 3D printed and physical resin uh, zombies. Already got 10, 12, already got 12 uh, of the resin ones from uh, Anvil. Um, so I'll end up having 36 in total, 36, 38 in total zombies, plenty for zombie side. Um, last days, uh, Zona Alpha, anything like that, plenty of zombies um, for whatever I need them for really. And I shall leave it there and I shall see everyone in the next video.